Well, hello, this is Denise Miller, your Leadership Lady Live. And we are in the first week of May and I've declared May Mother's Month. And so this month we'll be exploring quotes and leadership tips and advice from women who are leaders and who are also mothers. This first week in May, we'll be looking at quotes from Denise Morrison, who is a past CEO of the Campbell's Soup Company. She was CEO up until about 2018. And her first quote is one that I think we all must pay good attention to, and it is this. Leadership is not about being in control. It's about creating a vision that motivates others to achieve their best. And before we go any further to dissect that quote, I'd like to ask you to please, if you like the content, to give me a thumbs up and a heart, depending on where you're listening to me, and to please share this content and to please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, talking about leadership not being in control, it's really important as leaders that we understand that we do not have a corner on creativity or knowledge. We have team members for a reason. Those team members are here for us so that we can learn and cooperate with them to get things done. And so what I'm asking you to do as a leader is to consider Mrs. Morrison's quote. She is a mom, she has two grown daughters now. And think about how are you creating a vision that motivates your team members to do their best in the work that you're called to do as a team. The second quote is this. She says, I think that leadership is service and there is power in that giving to help people to inspire and motivate them to reach their fullest potential. So as a leader, how do you stack up with that? Are you motivating people to reach their fullest potential? Are you inspiring them to reach their fullest potential? Are you serving them? Do you see yourself as a servant? It's important as leaders that we don't think of ourselves as people that are way up here and in charge, but instead that we see ourselves as servants to our teens. Because as we serve them with the opportunities to do more and to do better, we will then be able to inspire them and motivate them and help them to reach their fullest potential. And as a leader, isn't that what it's all about? The third quote, and I have to take my glasses off for this. No, I have to leave my glasses on for this actually, is that as a leader, as a female leader, especially, she says that women have a hard time accepting that if they're at a professional event or a seminar, that part of the work should be to connect with others. As women, we feel that we can't connect with others. We feel, well, what are they going to say? What are they going to think about me? How are we going to feel about that? We have all kinds of imposter type issues going on with us that causes us not to connect. But when we don't connect, we really can't get to do our work well. And so I'd like to add this to the quote. It says that it takes just as much energy to create a worthwhile business lead or professional contact as it does to craft a strategy or write a brief. Many people underestimate the power of networking. Mrs. Morrison was quite a networker. And then there's one last quote, and I'm going to read this. So please forgive me for not looking at the camera. It says, you need to set a tone at the top of an organization first. You need to set a tone that inspires and encourages 
open two-way communication. So you hear the brutal facts and you need to know the good news and the bad news so that yeah. in the spirit of continuous improvement, you can make changes. Now that's important because as, as a leader, we don't want to necessarily hear the bad news. We really only want to hear the good news. And sometimes that deprives us of the opportunity to, ch to change, to serve our constituencies better. In fact, we're watching that happen right now in the United States government. People don't want to hear the bad news. And as a result, the people of the country aren't being served. Now, this isn't political. This is strictly about leadership. But aren't politics about leadership? So let's think about this again. We need as leaders not to want to be in control all the time. We need to give our teams wings so that they can fly, so they can do what needs to be done. We need to then realize that we are the servants of our teams and not the masters. Yes, we are required to make sure that certain things happen, but we really even more need to make sure that our teams are empowered to do their very best. We need to network. We need to get to know other people. As one of my mentors say, we need to get out of the house or get out of the office to meet other people. And when we're out of the office, we need to start establishing relationships. Don't just collect business cards, but form relationships. And then finally, we need to make sure that there are good two-way communications. Those are my four quotes from Mrs. Denise Morrison. I'd like to ask you to please, if you like this content, remember to give me a thumbs up or a heart. Please do share this with someone who is not a part of my YouTube channel or a part of my network, because you do know people that I don't know. And because you know people that I don't know, they won't have the opportunity to take advantage of this content. And I'd love to help them and to serve them like I'm serving you. Take care. Be well. Happy Mother's Day to the moms in your life. And if you're a mom, happy Mother's Day to you. I look forward to seeing you again next week when we look at another set of quotes from a female leader who's also a mom.